welcome here to the RimWorld. We are picking up as always as we left off. We have in the last episode we made some defenses. We're going to be making some more here and I should imagine here and it's basically extending the defenses around the area as we have time and resources. Concentrating here because most of the attacks have been coming this way. Of course now I've done that they will come from down here because that's the way this game goes. It's wonderful. So we, we're still recovering as you can see from the last attack but uh, things are moving forward. We've had some buildings done and we found so we had some uranium which might actually explain for Holiday's uh, third eye. Uh, so we'll be mining that out at the moment. We need uh, looks like a little bit more steel for that door there and then we'll have an airlock there because as you can see here every time we open this door all the heat gets sucked out of the building it's, uh, it's no good. So let's, let's see if we can find somewhere to mine. This looks like a good location doesn't it? So let's open this mine. Seems like there's loads of stuff there. That'll get us going nicely. There we go. And there's still all this up here which is, looks like there's a load of uh, steel there and okay so we have that going and it occurs to me that we need to start placing some traps as well so let's see what we've got we've got an IED and we've got a steel deadfall trap and we've got uh, an incendiary trap so let's see how much these things cost so that costs um, a shell that one What's the shell? But this one, it just used resources. And what do we have lots of? We have lots of limestone by the looks of it. So let's have a few limestone deadfall traps up here. Seems obvious if people are going to come through there, let's uh, make their life a little bit harder. And off goes Ben. As, eh, his sight is getting a bit bad. Uh, but other than that, he's not doing too bad. His mood for Ben, in all honesty, is relatively high. And yeah, he's got some good clothes on as well, including a parka, which he's really going to need. And let's have a quick look at Davis. Again, wearing a parka. His clothes aren't so good, though. Um, but probably the best we've got. Uh, he's still doing all right. Again, sight bad. We might need to set up an opticians at this rate. Okay. Alright, so what are we going to do this episode? I think this episode we will carry on looking at the defences. We've done a little bit of that now. But I also want to start working on... Uh, I want to start working on individual living quarters. Because this isn't cutting anymore. And we are still seem to be losing power. Uh... That seems to be a sign that we need to look for another source of energy. Um, do we have an easily accessible geothermal plant? Let's just have a look around now, just quickly, and see. There's one. That will do nicely, actually. So. Let's get that ordered as well. So power geothermal plant like that, and that's not much use without a power conduit. So let's get that ordered like that. And for redundancy's sake, just in case, let's put a line across there like that as well. Right. And once that's gone, that will help us with the power situation and I think we can also get the builders to start laying out some stuff but ideally I, I think I would actually like these corpses burned quickly. Uh, ben is stone cutting, Holiday is cooking, how are we doing for food? Uh, I think we can wait on harvesting Serigium, I think I want you to promise uh, prioritize doing some cremation. There we go, that's good. Right, let's speed this up and let things run for a little bit. Good man, holiday. Good man. Okay, it looks like we're we're getting a bit lax on the old hauling as well. But 
That can't be helped. So we've done another building recently, and that's probably got on the way of the haulers. Let's just have a look at our people and see what state they are in. So uh, we do have Davis who will haul, but he will do it after constructing and mining. So that might explain things. We're doing a lot of mining, we're doing a lot of constructing. Um, Brant, he's also a miner, but Ben uh, isn't. He does hunting and he does crafting. So let's put that to a two. He's still, we're still not yet likely to get around to hauling much, but I think the holiday can do some hauling as well. There we go. Okay. That hopefully will get us more hauling done. The uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the did you see the heating? As soon as it gets dark, the yeah, it just the heating the build just gets larger. Cargo pods. What's there? All right, we'll have them. If anyone gets out that far, we will have them. It's very unlikely someone will get out that far, but you never know. Right. So they're building. There we go. We start to get some of these traps. This is armed information. Okay, so beauty minus four makes the place the, uh, not, uh, uglier, but it does eighteen damage, and it's an eighty percent chance of being sprung when passed through. So yeah, that will that will become rather unpleasant when people step on it, which is good. And we'll put a few more of those around in strategic places, places people are likely to come through, and we'll let our people walk around. Yeah, mining going a pace. That's uh, some good work there. Looks like we exhausted this particular vein, but that's given us plenty of steel. Actually, it's a bit there as well. We'll have that. Grant and Lucky working hard on that. Good work, guys. So building going on a pace. Holiday, what are you up to? You're resting now. Okay, or perhaps you're just enjoying a bit of joy. In fact, I think this is a good opportunity. I've been thinking about this whole restrictions thing, and I don't think I particularly like it. Uh, the reason given is some people are wandering all the way across the map, and as a result, this time comes around and they, they, they need to come back. It takes them a couple of hours to come back, so they miss their, their evening joy. And... That's going that, that, that's going to uh, have a rather unfortunate effect on making them a bit stressed out. So what I think uh, uh, I've heard though is that Ben is a lot worse at this, and he's one of the people that walks the furthest. So what I'm thinking of is I'm going to change this to something like this. So in the morning you can do anything, and then you can have four hours of joy, and then we will do work up to that uh, up till eight p.m., and then you can do anything up until 11 o'clock, in which case it's time to go to bed. So let's give that one a try for a little bit and see how much that affects it. I'm thinking this anything will probably be people having breakfast that might spill over into the joy. They have a good hard period of joy Ooh. and then actually I think let's make that anything. So there we go. If they're all, if they're all joyed out they'll start working early. Okay, so let's give that a little work and see how it turns out. Uh, okay. Turn that off. There we go. Oh, it looks like we've lost some beds. Not a great loss, to be honest with you, because we don't have many colonists anymore. But... It could be a problem. It could be a problem. The wind's blowing strong, and that is giving us electric electricity, which we desperately need, let's be honest here. Um, actually, thinking about it, I just want to make sure that everything is connected up correctly. Um, yeah, all this power yeah, is connecting through alright. This is working okay. 
They're working on the power cables first. I'm perfectly happy with that. I think, though, what we will do is we will just arrange a redundant line of power like that. That way, if, uh, if somebody does bomb through there, it will uh, actually yeah. do that too. There we go. That gives it gives, like, it's a bit more secure. Hauling is happening. Excellent. Great. Good work, Ben. All right. Uh, we have struck compacted steel. Where we're mining compacted steel. Yay. Just gets better, doesn't it? Right, I think that still should keep us going for a little bit, so I will stop doing that. And let's start thinking in oh let's start thinking instead about this way. I told you they'd start from coming from down here again, didn't I? Right. So these are Raiders, they've got bows and they've got clubs. I'm not particularly worried about them, but let's get these defences rebuilt quickly. Right, we've got a gun there, so we need to get a gun there. And then, uh, actually, let's let's build the blueprint first. Security, steel improvised turret. There we go. And then it's resting. Okay, we will deal with that in morning and hope we have time. All right. So everybody's off to bed. Get the turrets there. Get people hidden here. And that will give them defensive space. There's far less cover for the uh, the tribes from coming up here now. This should be all right. Oh, power fluctuations. Just what we need. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to start turning some stuff off. And this is an obvious one. Designate toggle power. Lucky, I think. Yeah, I think it's early enough. All right. Prioritize flicking switch. I think we can turn this one off as well. In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's turn this stuff off. We don't need this anymore. We'll turn that on when we get prisoners. There we go. Lucky. You're going to turn a lot of stuff off. That's going to help us. Because if we don't have our turrets, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Do that one. Do that one. Do this one. And finally, do this one. You're not getting away that easily, young man. And as you're awake, let's get some steel. And okay, so right, we're not doing that anymore. Right, everybody. Except for you, let's draft you, let's get you all down here, holiday, let's see if we can get that uh, turret built, don't think we can, okay, yeah, no, prioritize working on that, I appreciate you wanted to drop that, Davis, come down here, Good, they're concentrating on the turret. Alright, good work there. Right, that's how to do that you. Is there anything else down here? No, nope, we're just left with these three, four here. Oh, and this guy here. Davis will take care of him. I appreciate that you want to eat, but you need to get this done, so work on that. Where are you going? Oh, you want that, do you? Second thoughts. Just go and eat that meal. There we go. Oh, good. Okay, you know I said go and eat that meal. Got a job for you. Capture stink bug. Everyone else has fled, so you know I had a job for you. Go and eat something. Davis. Oh, is it, why is it always Lucky that gets wounded? 
Why is it always the doctor that gets wounded? He's got a cut. Okay, that is going to be tricky. Okay, so. Undraft you. In fact, let's undraft everybody. Davis is eating. Right, you're repairing, so I think I can use you first. So I want you to capture Stinkbug. Ben. Strip Olga. Strip Comba. And Strip Val. And let's mark this stuff as suitable for picking up. We're not going to make a fortune out of selling this stuff by the looks of it, but that is a muffler low level. Okay, I thought it was hyper ether. No, it's slightly the wrong colour. Okay. Uh, Davis. Uh, we need to turn the crem crematorium back on. Yay! It's right, so. Storage. Corpses. Human like corpses. And now, Solidus and a stranger, human corpse. That should work. Don't want to allow buried corpses. And. Right, so Davis, will you haul corpses? You won't. No play and two players configured. I have no idea why that works that way. But there you go. Uh, so Davis, I think let's get let's get one or two people cre cre cremated. So uh, designate toggle power. Really don't need to do this. So prioritize flicking switch. Holiday. I think we're going to need to put these back on. So holiday. Prioritize flicking switch. And. Prioritize flicking switch. There we go. Okay. And let's have a look at Stinkbug. Such a good name. Okay, so pretty shot. Looks like the LMG has done most of the damage there. Um, in shock from exceptional pain, wounded, not very happy. Character, reasonable shooting, a little bit of cooking. Heat tolerant is not good to us. Too smart, which means he's going to learn fast. Careful shooter, I think he might be worth going for. Crack of gear. Uh, recruitment difficulty 99, of course. Release. Okay, so he'll get released as soon as he's capable of walking, and then we can use him to improve our relationship. Did you uh, did you turn it on? You did. Prioritize cremating. Let's concentrate on this sort of bit. We're gonna have to watch this unfortunately. But let's get these corpses uh, cremated. One down. Two down. Here he goes. And get another one. I know you want to clean rock rubble, but this is important. Who's in the bad mood? Ben? Well, there's, there's a surprise. Okay, and... Materials? Have we got all the corpses? We've got all the corpses cremated. Excellent! Right, so you get back to doing what you're doing. Okay. And... We have barely enough time to do anything now, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opportunity to call some plans here. And, and the plans are going to be for the living quarters. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing here is I, I don't want to put a heater in each room and it gets very cold in here at night. So what I'm going to do is create a central heating space and use these vents to move the heat, the heat from the central heating space out to the bedrooms. So, to do this, what I'm thinking here is if we have a central corridor 
in the heated area in the middle, um, well, it will look a little bit like this. So, and so one, two for the corridor, and then we'll have a path going up here. One, two, three, four, five for each room. And that will go up here. One, two, three. Like that, one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, five, like that. And corridor can carry on around there, and we'll have the, 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 the rest of the rooms like this. So, another room here, and likewise here. I would like to make this accessible. So I'm thinking perhaps we'll do a, just a small corridor here. And let it carry on up here. In fact, we should just do it like this, couldn't we? We'll have a door at either end. So this then needs to carry on around at the very least to here. Where we'll move that door down there. Put doorways above and above. So the heaters go in here. This won't work because it's going to be hard to get venting into those rooms. So let's think about this a little bit more. What if we just make... How about we do it like this? Okay, so we'll clear... Those like that. Yeah, that's a reasonable size room. So we'll have... Another room there. These rooms will be slightly smaller, but we'll make them more opulent, perhaps, to balance things out. The heaters can go in here and vents can come out. We'll perhaps just put a door on one of these rooms so people can get in to maintain stuff here. So, yeah, so that works. Vent, 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 vent. The heat will radiate out. We have a corridor going around here. this okay and put door there perhaps and there and yeah I think that will do so that's going to be our plan for the uh, the next episode we will be making these bedrooms and carry on working on the defenses I think but uh, until the next time I've been so Parsons this has been the room world thank you and good night